And now the Mickey Mouse Club presents The New Adventures of Spin and Marty. Today's episode, Darlene Steps In. doing? You're not careful, young fella. We're gonna have a tame horse on our hands. Yeah, he's a good guy. And gentle as a lamb. to be a real fine saddle horse. Real fine. Sweet tooth. You know something? In a couple of days, I'm going to take you out in the range and give you a real workout. Dr. Spaulding just gave me the go sign. And your ankle's okay, huh? Sure, it's fine. Turned out to be okay, didn't he? Yeah. Hank did a good job. I suppose you're mad at me. Oh, forget it. No, no, he, he had a right to be after the way I acted. Forget it, I said. Just feeling kind of mean on account of my ankle, I guess. I had it coming. I had no business cutting in on you when you were down. Oh, no, I, I had no business blowing my head like that and getting sore. Tell you the truth, I'm just plain jealous. Well, you had a right to be. Oh, no, I'm just spoiled, spoiled rotten. I'm always trying to hog everything. I thought I was cured, but... Sure, I know. I was jealous of you, too, when you first came here. You were? Sure, you were the rich kid that always had everything he wanted, the way you... Road rough shot over everybody. I think I even hated you. Then we're still friends. Marty, if we had a dozen fights, we'd still be friends. That's the way I feel, too. Skyrocket. Looks like somebody else is jealous. Well, hello yourself. Did you miss me? Yeah, I missed you, too. <laughs> no, no, none of that. You've got nothing to be jealous of. You know I like you best. Come on now, behave yourself. Bad enough me being jealous without you acting up. Sure the bunk, isn't it, Skyrocket? That jealousy stuff can get you into lots of trouble. Believe me, I know. Well, how about it? Can you go riding yet? Not for a little while, Dr. Spaulding said. Boy, I can hardly wait. Well, I'm gonna take dynamite out in the range in a couple of days. You wanna come along? Oh, sure. Skyrocket needs a little workout. Good. Then it's a deal. Sure, 
heck's different from the last time we were out here on the range. I'll say. I think he likes belonging to somebody. Poor guy. I guess it wasn't any fun being a lone wolf. Yeah, well, whose fault was that? Sure put up a scrap, didn't he? You don't know the half of it. <laughs> hey, isn't that Annette and Darlene headed this way? It sure is. It's nice to see you up and around again. It's my first time out. We're giving Dynamite a workout. It's wonderful the way you've tamed him. And don't look at me. Spin deserves all the credit. In a pig's eye, Hank did all the work. Well, whoever trained him, they sure did a bang-up job. Sure turned out to be a real cool guy, all right. You were right about him all along. I sure had him pegged wrong. Maybe that's why he likes you. Say, Darlene, looks like your cinch is loose. Yeah. Better let me tighten it for you. of a bad start this year, didn't you? What do you mean? Well, first your ankle, and then the car getting wrecked, and the kitchen, and the stove, all that business. I'll say. We couldn't have done a better job if we'd done it on purpose. <laughs> but you didn't, and accidents will happen. That doesn't help much when it comes to paying the bill. You don't mean you have to pay for everything. Well, it wouldn't exactly be right to let Mr. Logan get stuck with it, would it? Well, no, I don't suppose it would. Hey, Marty! Darlene's got an idea, and it's a darn good one, too. For what? For raising money. She must be a genius. Well, it's simple. Sure, just like falling off a log. And it's a lot more fun. OK, I'm all ears. Well, I was thinking, why don't we put on a show? A show? Yeah, and charge admission. Well, what kind of a show? Well, I was thinking of a variety show, or maybe a review. You know, something with songs and dances, and maybe a couple of skits. Well, I could write my mom to get some ideas. Oh, who'd pay out good money to come and see a bunch of amateurs like us sing and dance? Our folks would. And so would the boys from North Fork, and Mr. Logan, and all the counselors. Say, I think maybe you've got something there. What do you mean, maybe? Well, of course, we'll have to check with Mr. Logan, but... Sure gonna do that, right now. Come on, Spin, let's go. So long, Annette. Bye, Darlene. Bye, Spin. So long, Marty. I sure bought that idea. <laughs> got the problem licked. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Which problem? You know, paying for Marty's car and the rest of the stuff. You mean to tell me you figured out a way to raise money? We sure have. Well, it's a pretty good trick if you can do it. You want to tell me about it? Do we? I'll say. Now, listen to this. We're going to put on a show. A show? A review, Darlene calls it, with skits and songs and dances and stuff like that. Yeah, and we're going to charge 50 cents apiece for the tickets. And Darlene's going to be stage manager and help pick out the songs and dances. She knows all about putting on a show on account of her mom being an actress, and we're all going to be in it. Sounds like a pretty big deal. Uh, where are you going to hold this shindig? Uh, gee, we kind of forgot about that. Well, I'd say that's a pretty important item. What about the barn? The barn? Sure, it's big enough and the horses don't use it in the summertime. Hey, that's a great idea. We can clean it all up and build a stage. And we'll decorate it just like we did for the dance last year. And get benches for the audience. And build the scenery and paint it. <laughs> Looks to me like you boys have mapped out a pretty busy summer for yourselves. I'll say. Yeah, but it's gonna be fun. Good morning, Dynamite. I bet he wants to go gallivant. He always wants to go gallivanting. He isn't happy unless we're running all over the range. 
Sorry, boy. I haven't got time to play with you today. We got work to do. Come on, you guys. Quit stalling. The girls will be here any minute. Oh, keep your shirt on. We're coming. You be a good boy, and I'll take you for a run after lunch. Next episode, All Hands to the Rescue.